What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CI. Stopping in today to do a video on a fragrance I just received from Joma Shop. And this fragrance I've been waiting on, uh, ready to see what it's smelling like. I've been hearing that it's a good one. And that fragrance is Hugo Boss Bottle Elixir. So if you're interested in this unboxing and first impression, stay tuned and we're going to dive right into it after the intro. All right, guys, welcome back. For those that are returning, I appreciate you. For my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. On my channel, we discuss all things fragrance, whether they be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack stores. Your local rack stores are Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Ross. Because believe it or not, guys, you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations. Now, guys, today's video will be on a fragrance uh, that I've been waiting to smell. I have smelt a uh, boss bottle absolute and it was magnificent i uh, really didn't want to pay the price for that fragrance and i looked online a lot of people say that boss bottle elixir is the same kind of scent profile so i went on and ordered it from jomashop.com and i paid 77 dollars for a 3.4 mil uh, with a 3.4 ounce 100 ml bottle. So, here's the fragrance, guys. Boss Bottle Elixir. Let's get to it. nice gradient bottle kind of black with a brownish gradient to it it appears black far off but once you get it in the light you can see like the, the same color of the cap like a copper type of color or whatnot as the boss logo up top your information on the bottom 100 mil 3.3 ounce bottle and this is a uh, perfume guys so let's see what this thing is smelling like cap is light clicks in place though Hey, when I tell you this smell right here, now if I can remember correctly, the absolute smells the same. And when I smelt that fragrance, guys, I enjoyed it. But like I said, I didn't want to pay that. Right now, for a 3.3, 100 ml bottle is running you 140. Uh, from Macy's, Dillard's, uh, I think Alta had it too, or Sephora, one of them. Uh, haven't seen it on discounters, but like I said, I read a couple uh, things online and they said this one smells just like the Absolute. The Absolute just a little smoother, a little more rounded and with certain notes but in the dry down they say this smells just like the absolute it becomes that sweet smoky woody smell and I smell it guys this thing is pumping and if you don't put your nose on the absolute and you haven't smelt the elixir and you're thinking about getting the absolute save yourself some money and go on ahead and cop this one because this thing is and it's a beast I can tell from the sprays, I want to get a strip right quick, guys. I can tell by the strip, the spray that I just did in the air. It's filling the room. It's filling the room. I 
Oh, this about to be my whoo. I'm about to wear this one out, guys. This is gonna be my scent of the day tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little cold. Well, look cool tomorrow. I think tomorrow high supposed to be uh, 61 degrees or something. This thing smells good. I'm picking up some sweetness. We ain't picking up the woods right now. Let me look up the notes right quick. But it's filling the room up. Okay, main accords with this fragrance is woody, amber, warm, spicy, aromatic, patchouli, balsamic, earthy, fresh, spicy. Top notes of fragrance, frankincense, cardamom. Middle notes of patchouli, vetiver. Base notes of labdum, 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 and cedar. So, that initial open, I think, is the cardamom and the frankincense that I'm picking up. The vetiver is kind of overpowering the patchouli to me and then let's put it on skin atomize is okay too giving you a wide spray it's okay it's nothing amazing but the fragrance is amazing guys it's about to be my oh i'm about to wear this one out about to get my money worth out of this one about to get my money out of this one. And this thing is strong too. The initial, the initial open is the cardamom. The cardamom is heavy in this one, on my skin. What's this labanum? I think this might be the little sweetness that I'm picking up. The resins. Leathery, ambery note. Picking up the woody. Let me see. The spices is the cardamom. I'm picking up the sweetness is coming from the the frankincense spicy fruity top note woody fresh balsamic Now right now in the top, in the mid, the sweetness hasn't kicked in yet. I know the absolute it was a little more smoky, a little more sweeter than what I'm smelling right now. But overall guys, what I'm picking up on my skin, this is a pleasant, pleasant fragrance. This thing is gonna smell great this fall and winter. It's still sitting in the top notes in the mids. I don't think it really it made it too much. Still developing. But most definitely guys, I'm enjoying this scent as far as what I'm smelling right now. I mean, it could take some time for this thing to, to develop fully down to the to the uh, base note uh, so this will be my scent of the day tomorrow and I'm most definitely going to have to do an update with this fragrance and uh, yes I'm glad I added this one to the collection guys for those that have this fragrance in their collection uh, let me know what y'all think do y'all think this one smells very similar to uh, 
the boss bottle absolute uh get in the comments and, and let us know but to my nose it's a it's a very close uh, similarity to those two fragrances as far as what i'm picking up and at this price point <laughs> i think i made a good choice got a hundred mil bottle for 70 $79, eighty dollars versus $140, $150. So that'll do it guys. Like I say, I'm gonna do a, a update on this fragrance. It will be my center of the day, maybe for the next two days, because these next two, three days while I'm at is gonna be cool. So I'm gonna put this one to the test. You know. Alright guys, I'm wrapping on up. This was an unboxing and first impression of false bottle elixir and you know like i said get in the comments and let me know what y'all think of this fragrance and please remember to like subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and share the video guys and we'll catch you on the next one peace